name's Jane Taylor, student number 2515466, and I'm doing my clinical and communication and assessment skills. Um, I have my standard precautions on gloves and goggles. Um, I'm doing this on Thursday the 9th of May 2013. I will be undertaking a Glasgow Coma Scale, also known as GCS, palpating a radial pulse, measuring a respiratory rate, palpating and auscultating um, a blood pressure, undertaking a chest auscultation um, posteriorly, and I will be doing this on uh, Mrs Jones, who's a female and 78 years old. Hi, I'm just about to undertake my glaucoma. Glasgow Coma Scale with Mrs Jones here. Uh, Mrs Jones has spontaneous eye opening, so I give her a fall. Mrs Jones, would you mind grabbing my hands there and squeezing them? Thank you. Thank you. Mrs Jones has motor control, so I'm giving her a six. Um, do you mind if I ask you a few questions? That's fine. That's fine. Um, what's your name? This is Mary Jones. And where are we? In the library. In the library. And what's the day today? Thursday. Thursday. And what's the month? May and the year 2013. 2013. And um, I give <laughs> a verbal control of 5 and a total score of 15. Uh, my non verbal things were that um, she felt my skin, um, I stayed in, out of her personal space, um, I displayed body gestures and also eye contact. <laughs> I'm just about to undertake um, Mrs. Jones's palpating radial pulse and measuring her respiratory rate. Uh, Mrs. Jones, have, do you mind if I take your pulse there? Yep, that's fine. Have you ever had it done before? Yes. Yes. Do you know what your normal is? Around 65. 65? Okay. Um, so would you mind if I grabbed your hand? Yep. Yep. And can you just put it there and say nice and relax for me? Okay, so Mrs. Jones had a radial pulse of 34 and then I times that by 2 equals 68 to give us the one minute, um, and which is adequate as it's between 60 and 100. Um, she had warm, pink, dry skin and she's in a conscious state. Was that alright there? Does that feel, do you feel like you're breathing normally and whatnot? Yep. Okay. Now Miss Jones, do you mind if I grab your hand again there? And do you mind if you just stand nice and relax? Ms. Jones, have you ever had your um, respiratory rate done before? Yep. Yeah. Do you know what it usually is? Um, around 16. 16. Um, I have just taken Ms. Jones's respiratory rate and I did end up with 7 and I times that by 2 for um, a minute and that gave us 14. So it's around what she normally has. And um, do you feel like you're breathing normally today? Yeah. Yeah, so you feel like there's no effort, just, no. just casual. And uh, you appear nice and well, and you're sitting nice and straight up in the chair. Um, so you feel normal through the chest and whatnot, healthy, yeah? Okay. Um, her rhythm also appeared to be normal. I was watching her chest go up and down. Um, and I also supplied nonverbal in the radial pulse, as I felt their skin um, when I grabbed her arm, stayed out of her personal space, displayed body gestures, and had eye contact. Um, with the nonverbal for the respiratory rate, I also had my hand on her wrist to make it look like I was taking her pulse instead of counting her respiratory rate so she was unaware. Um, applied head gestures and body gestures towards her, made eye contact and also gave her her personal space. Um, I will now be undertaking the palpating and oscillating a blood pressure on Mrs Jones. 
Uh, Mrs. Jones, have you ever had your blood pressure taken before? Yes, I have. You have? Do you know what your normal is? Uh, 110 over 80. Okay. And do you mind if I take it now? That's fine. Yeah. Do you mind if I wrap this around you? No problem. And if I can just put these on your lap, if that's okay. Yep. Thank you. Yep. I'm just going to put this around there. Okay. Now I'm just going to um, grab that clip and just hold that up here. So I can see. And now this may get tight, is that alright? Yep. Yep. Okay, I'm just going to put my hand there if that's okay. Yep. Do you mind if I just take it again there? That's fine. And I'm just going to put this under here if that's okay. So I've obtained an, um, a radial, a uh, palpating pulse of, um, what was it, 110. And then when I did it oscillating, I also received um, a pressure of 110 on 60. So that's adequate. Um, what I did was when I got the first one down here, the palpating one, I then did 30 over that to give us more of a range. Um, her, so her systolic was 110 and her diastolic was 60. Um, so it seemed normal. Um, for my nonverbal, I had um, touched her, so it gave um, thin kinetics. I had eye contact and body gestures. I gave her a personal space and I did it in a reasonable amount of time. I take my chest oscillations posteriorly. Do you mind if I um, take the chest oscillation on your back there? That's fine. Have you had it done before? Yes, I have. You have? And did it all appear normal last time? Yes. Yes? I'm just going to measure uh, eight spots down the back, from the left to the right, right to left, from the eight pieces to the midline to the bases. Um, I'm just going to stick that down there. Do you mind? No, that's fine. Um, do you mind taking two big breaths and a cough for me? <coughs> and if you could just take two big breaths, please. And another two for me. And another two. And again. And again. Apex is same fine. And again. So do the midline. And the base is all same fine. Uh, my non-verbal techniques for this was um, touching their back, um, providing personal space, um, body movement when listening and also having eye contact when asking those questions.